What's up, guys? Dr. Tank here. Thank you for joining me on today's Daily Body Armor. Um, remember, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss a way to bulletproof your body, perform your best, and be your best self. So now, today, what we're going to be talking about is that chronic hamstring strain that shows up over and over and over and over again. Um, so if you've got this chronic hamstring strain and you rest and it gets better, and then you go back to doing whatever you want to do, and you strain it again or pull it again, it gets better. And then it's this cyclical type process. Um, it's a sign that one, your hamstring's weak, right? So you have got to re or rebuild, not only rebuild, but you've got to build capacity and strength through that hamstring so that you can prevent this or mitigate the chances of you putting enough force and stress to that hamstring to where you actually reach your limit to where it pulls again, right? Because if we can build robustness, build capacity, build strength through that hamstring and get it stronger than anything you're going to throw at it, well, then boom, that's a great way to mitigate your chance of it showing up again. So the single leg deadlift is uh, a movement that we absolutely love. However, if if uh, you do the traditional single leg deadlift to where you're bringing in a lot of balance uh, th through that system, what we find is we're not able to load the hamstrings quite as heavy because you're bringing in other limiters to the system. So what I'm going to have you do today is you're actually going to hold on to like a rig or a pole or something to support yourself. You're going to pick up the kettlebell or the dumbbell, you're going to squeeze the abs down and you're going to hinge down in that single leg deadlift back up. So we want a slight bend of the knee, take it down to the ground right by the foot, come back up, staying nice and square. And what you're going to notice is one, you're not going to have to fight to balance yourself, but two, you're going to really be able to load that hamstring. So by holding on, we can load the hamstring more, you can get stronger faster, um, and you're going to be less likely to have that hamstring pull or strain in the future. So guys, I'm Dr. Tank. Give that a go. Join me next time, and we'll keep you moving so that you can be awesome. Thanks for joining me. Adios.